we are in a coffee shop again. This is our debrief after the first night of uh, boot camp. We're gonna make this one short. Um, day two. But yeah, we're, we're on day two now. And we've got a lovely apartment upstairs. Luckily within the same building, we've got a lovely cafe, uh, hookah place, which is shisha, and does great food. So it's great for bouncing location. Um, first night was telling everyone, because a lot of people are in their heads, to set up. Mm -hmm. You know, wreck, wreck the room if you need to, and uh, a lot of them were right to do that in the first place, in the first venue we went to. So uh, you know, I grabbed a few of them, showed them I was just being silly. I like to get into a silly mood. Yeah. Do swimming, uh, fly into sets. Current emotional state opens. Yeah. Just stupid. Whip people with my scarf. Convey that you are in a playful state. And my own reality as well. Non-threatening. Mm. Non-needy non-judgmental playful yeah and that's how you open the sets exactly. it works great and uh <clears throat> so first part i took one of the students magic up and sh just showed him some bits and ended up dancing really cool leave one of the girls and then anyway that first venue wasn't that great because it wasn't enough sets in however we were able to pull a two set of girls yeah. with us to the second venue. Yeah. In fact, they're the ones who suggested the second venue. Yeah. I recommend not listening to what the girls, girls recommend. Say, yeah. Because they don't know what the prime locations are no. or what is most conducive to pick up. Yeah, agreed. But we did go to a venue that they suggested. It was, in my opinion, too loud, which restricts game to flash game. Yeah. Which doesn't mean it's not going to work because, in fact, you had a good night. I had a great night. For me, the game beat me up. It beat me up here. I was... Uh, it happens. It happens. It happens to the best of us. So, there's always a lesson to be learned. Yeah, I'm still thinking about what I could have done if I go back in time. And I'm, in many ways, going back in time. We're going out tonight. Yeah. So, I just have to gear up. One thing I have to do is not walk so much. Yep. Yesterday, we walked too much. So that by the time I got in field, I wasn't in state. I was achy. I'm still achy. So I'm just going to make sure that rest I'm, up. I'm rested up and ready to go for tonight. Yep. Also, what I'll do is some of the day game stuff that they were doing, I was doing as well. But I'd like to snag so that I have girls with me upon entry into the venue. Yeah. Uh, we were a large group of men, and there were only two girls. Three girls. Oh, three girls. Tom's right where I had With girl. us. And th they weren't my set. Yeah, you exactly. Know, I need to do my own work, yeah. get my own set, build the social proof so that I can then open the hotter sets from that point forward. Well, part of my game plan was, because I didn't have any girls with me from the first venue, uh, as I went in, even the first thing I do is I, I just go up to two girls, because mm -hmm. I want to do the whole walking thing and I just these two girls had uh, what are they called pigtails like okay. this and they look, both look like uh, the from Suicide Squad Hayley, Hayley Quinn okay. yeah so I just went out and went sorry I'm late and they're like what oh I'm late sorry traffic but I'm here they closed the road because they've actually closed the road Putin did the road in 24 hours yeah. so we've been actually day gaming on it it's been Putin brilliant. cleaned the road up yeah he uh, fixed it it's great and um, <clears throat> so with that, with that in mind, <laughs> oh, I can't move this right now. I was going to show it. Yeah, we can we can put a clip in. Okay. And uh, so I chatted, just made a bit of fun, and I said, "Look, come and meet my friends." Locked on two girls, and then walked through the venue with them. So had a bit of social proof. And come meet my friends is a backwards merge. Yes. So not only were we as a group able to <clears throat> bounce from one venue to the next with some girls. Uh, building some social proof in the next venue, but also forwards mergings and backwards mergings were taking place yeah. uh, in the venue. Yeah. So good, solid form. So I was messing around with them, playing, dancing, doing the, my scarf double on them, like so I was hooking both of them at the same time and pulling them in, mm -hmm. double spins, <clears throat> just making the, myself be known in the area because yeah. I want to be seen. And, uh, and because it was loud, I had to do more flash game. Yeah, it was very loud. In fact, I didn't even speak in the loudest area. Yeah. I wanted to preserve my voice for boot camp. So I thought, I'm not even going to offer correction right now to the students. 
because it is so damn loud that I'll blow up my voice. Yeah, you have to wait until it's in a quieter yeah. area. Um, <clears throat> so from that, uh, eventually they had another friend come, blonde girl, and I liked her. I thought she was fun. Mm-hmm. I liked her. Mm-hmm. So I escalated straight in, had you all know each other, blah, 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 and I just started dancing with her. So you were first dancing with two girls, and then a third girl came in. Their friend. And that became your target. Yes. Fair. Okay, yeah. I didn't see you open the set. Yeah. Nice. And uh, I escalated immediately. I had the social proof from her friends already, so that helped. And uh, just bumped up the buying temperature real quick. Yeah. Um, rapid, rapid buying temperature bumping. And uh, had a, there were some mini stairs that led to the bar where the exotic dancers come on. They're yeah, gorgeous. And um, I was using it as a big, yeah, as a, as a seat. So I'm sort of seated above everyone. Right. So I was lording it a bit. Yeah, you were lording. Locking them in like this between my, you know, like pulling them towards me. Yeah, so then between, between my your legs. legs. Yeah. As you're sitting up on the bar, yeah. basically in the corner. So I escalated, escalated, and then uh, we were dancing. I was picking her up. I, you know, the run. I make them run. So I pull them out and push them back and lift them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, dance moves, basically. Yeah, dance. Yeah, but they're kino moves. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm a good dancer, but I have set set pieces that I do. Well, we counted seven seven pieces. There are seven things that you do in rapid succession that entertain the. Target, yeah, because you will be dancing with the target generally, and it looks like you can dance. I yeah, mean, I mean you can dance because of these seven yeah. rapid fire moves. Yeah, and it also builds compliance. You get compliance with each move. Yeah, if you it want her to spin, the next one she spins, and then you push her away, and then grab her and pull her towards you. Put your arm around her. Yeah, the way and you do these there. things. Yeah, lock her arm in me. Grab her arm and put it here. And then spin, do the dip, lift, do the dip, then the lift, then the spin. And as I lower them, I look at them, so maybe that could be turned into a kiss, and that's actually what happened. Right. But it's, a, it's a bunch of compliance tests yeah. to see if she complies, and by the end of it, she has completely, with the dip, uh, given herself to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cause she's she's... The trust is. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm trust just gonna trust that you're not he, gonna drop me on my head. Knows what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Don't and then you always get them back safely on their high heels. Yeah, totally. And I lower them slowly so they right. they don't. There's no impact on right. the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, um, it's sort of like a manly thing as well. That's like, right. Oh, you know. I'm gonna and then when you're done, you're done, and you roll off. I roll off. Yeah. And it, and they're left stunned. Yeah. To what just occurred. And it seems to work. It yeah. seems to in a good way. make them want to come back to you and re-engage you in conversation and more. Yeah. yeah. Well, she even said on the walk back, again, um, yeah. she said, wow, you're, you know, you're a brilliant dancer. The guys in Russia can't dance. And, right. you know, I really enjoyed it. And it was just great. And you made my night. I love my yeah, night. Yeah, you did make her a night. Yeah. She, she definitely had a great night. Yeah, we were making out loads and picking yeah. up. And, and yeah, it was, it was really good fun, actually. I really enjoyed it with her. And then we just walked the whole way home, having I was, fun, dancing in the street a bit when music was playing. Yeah. I was surprised that the two friends that she was with were so accepting of you making out with her. She just didn't seem to care what her friends thought. She didn't. It was overload, I think. Right. Because the friends did Com- get angry at one point. Compliant, Did you see, they went off. Compliance momentum. The two friends place. went off at one point. But then there's nothing else right. they could do, so they came back. And then they came back to <laughs> see how the friend's doing, and yeah. she's still doing just fine. <laughs> so that was cool. Well, how did my night go? You saw me work some sets, didn't you? Yeah. Well, let me just finish off. Um, uh, with that, with, with our cafe that we have here, our restaurant-type cafe. Yeah. So uh, I said, look, let's go to the cafe in my building. I didn't say let's go to mine. You're right. Because it's a close... Basically, it's a close bounce location. That's right. Which this is where we're at right now. Because I was and 25 minutes walk just away. Upstairs. Fear. And we couldn't yeah. get a car because, yeah. again, they closed the road. They closed the road. So there were no taxis. Yep, yeah, I had to walk it too yesterday. Yeah. But for me, I had to walk it. I left at 3 a.m. I, what time did you leave? I would say oh, an hour after you. So. Okay, so it took me nearly yeah. a half hour. Yeah, but, but I had a little luck out of bouncing there as well. I think she would have bounced, but I might have had to wait another hour. Because okay. she was a bit worried about leaving her friends. The only real interest I had 
in in the girls there were the two exotic dancer girls yeah, that were yeah, dancing they were, they were in the loudest area of the yeah, very, very busy bar. Very amazing. But the light, the, all the electricity went out in the club, so the light it went dark everywhere, that's and the music weird. stopped. That's twisted. So we made out quickly in the dark, and then I said, "Follow me," and I just tunneled her through all the people. Okay. And got the coats. Right. And then we were just out. I was like, "We've got to go, man! Everyone's going to be piling everywhere. Yeah. Something dangerous could happen." Out, right. out, 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 out. And then we were out in, in, in the you know in the craziness of right. St. Petersburg, where it's just yeah. so busy and amazing. Yeah. And I'm um, just adventure like, yeah, let's go. "Adventure, let's have adventure!" And then people were like singing in the street, you know, bands playing. And so, so what happened to your friends? Dancing. Um, they she, were lost she, in the crowd yeah lost so she, she texted and they said they were fine so okay. it's okay and yeah. I I'd actually helped one of the friends that was a bit sick at one point so mm-hmm. I walked around the corner she was standing against the wall just a bit ill like, I went you're not well are you she goes no and I grabbed the other friend mm-hmm. and said look your friend's sick look after her so now right. they're together and I yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 slid the target yeah uh, but then we went to the restaurant here and where we are again mm-hmm. and uh, I, we ate had some had one drink when well, she had orange juice sometimes you have drinking to, sometimes you have to fill their stomach before you can totally and I was hungry so we ate had a great meal we were the only ones in the building the staff knew me already right. the girls at work here were so friendly okay. so social proof was high so she was like oh, they were like hi again right. you know so it was great and then I just said let's go up and went up to the penthouse showed her, showed her all the places the rooms good you know yeah. this is the house yeah so I heard you come in I yeah. heard you come in, and I had decided to stay in my room because I didn't hear it sound uh, like a party. Yeah. It was just the one girl you brought in, yes. right? So I stayed out of it. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have come out if you had brought her friends, for instance, yeah. and I could have been thrown on the landlines. Yeah. So what I did is I fell back to getting the students to watch you. Mm. That's what I did. Yeah. They have no, to I see noticed. It. They have to see That's why I is. over... So I just... I sort of over... Did it because I wanted them to see. Look, doesn't right. matter. Yeah, you know. Just yeah. Well, I had leaned back and and put myself into a wallflower position so that I could stay close to the students. Yep. That's what I was doing. I was getting into into not demo mode, but student observation mode. Yeah. Because I have on day one, I have to see them do three sets. Yeah. To find a pattern of what their sticking points are, and I think I already have a a snapshot view of what each of their totally, games like, yeah. right, for night Because you can sort of put them in categories as well. So you've got the guys that walk around with their hands in their pockets a bit slumped, yeah. not making any, not smiling. One guy left early. Yeah, which one? David. Okay, yeah. He left early, Yeah. because it wasn't his scene. Yeah. Well, it wasn't my scene either, it wasn't your scene. Yeah. We're just making something out of the scene that we're in. Something out of nothing. You know? And whose fault is it? It's the girls from the first venue that Bringing brought us, us to the second venue. Yeah. Brought us to the wrong place, right? Now, normally it's a good idea to have two venues per night that you go to. The first venue, you get the social proof, you get the girls with you bouncing to the next venue so that you have girls with you when you arrive to the second venue. So tonight, if you're going out, choose two venues, not one venue. And halfway through the night, bounce to the next venue along with the girls that you've met in in the first venue even that's a three. good game plan or even three exactly then there's the after hours yeah. uh, that takes place yeah that's so we learned good, some lessons a good game which plan. we knew already but yeah they reinforced yeah. that hey we need to lead mm-hmm. we need to do the recce yeah recce, you know, we didn't we didn't do the, the recon work yeah. ahead of time to make sure that the venue was uh, a good suitable a suitable venue for for pickup and what I mean by that is specifically being in a chat zone. Yes. That was not a chat zone, and there wasn't a chat zone in that place. Even on the first floor, they were doing Yeah, there was karaoke. a medium chat. Like, it's just still, even the, the bounce hookah place. Right. But it's still loud. Yeah, yeah. It was still loud, but uh, just a little quiet. On the first floor, they were doing karaoke. Yeah. And so, and no one, and there were no girls down there. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, target rich. Okay. However, we're gonna we're gonna assimilate all that, and uh, tonight. And tonight we're okay. gonna take Saint Petersburg by storm. Yeah, and the good thing is, wherever you go, there should be a community and a community leader in that area, and we always like to meet them. I met them the night before, and so tonight 
like he knows where to go tonight. I will take his suggestions on. Okay, good. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's going to sort all the clubs out for tonight. So we're sorted. Good. Okay. This is Mystery. I'm Bexter. Hey guys, it's Mystery in Paradise. At the end of April, beginning of May of every year for the last 10 years, my wingman, Bexter and I, would travel to Helsinki to teach the elegant art of the cold approach pickup to a select group of men ready to take on the challenge of meeting and attracting beautiful women. Now it's your turn. You are invited. To learn more, contact me and sign up for a life-changing event, Mastering the Cold Approach Pickup.